Hey everyone, uh, this is Dominic here uh, with another one of your videos. And you have to excuse the way that I look right now, as you can probably tell from the base of my voice. I am very buzzed right now. Um, I literally broke down in tears earlier today. Um, I just drank a whole bottle of wine. And I'll explain a little bit in depth as to what's been going on with me this past few days. Um, as you already know, there is a pandemic going on around the world right now, and uh, people are suffering from COVID-19. Um, there have been talks about it, there have been reviews, um, they're talking about vaccination trials, but we don't know exactly when that's going to come out. Um, honestly, at this point, we don't know what these next few weeks and these next few months are going to look like right now. It hasn't even been over a month since the whole pandemic had broke down. Um, I have my TV at mute right now because honestly at this point I'm literally at my breaking point right now. You can tell from the bass in my voice. I'm literally buzzed right now so you have to excuse me. You're gonna have to bear with me right now. I'm totally buzzed right now as I said before. I'm trying to compose myself here. Um, I literally broke down crying as I was in the middle of cleaning up all my stuff because I have a lot of clutter in my closet. Um, stuff, papers, pictures, books, letters that I've collected from a few years ago. Um, I want to say about maybe 2017. And as I was going through all my stuff, I've stumbled through all of my dad's materials, all of his clothes and things of that nature. As most of you may or may not be aware. Um, my dad passed away in uh, May of 2017. Uh, next month will be three years. And I normally don't open up to folks. Um, him and I didn't really have a really close relationship. But nonetheless, he's my dad. Um, he did the best that he could to raise his children. And I am thankful for that. Um, at the end of the day, he did what he could to raise his three kids. and pretty much look after his family um, so I will express my gratitude there but as I said before um, it literally came to that breaking point um, I was going through all of his stuff and going through all of the birthday cards um, cards pictures mailing um, all the letters I had to throw away my clutter because I'm trying to get myself situated you know, we're in quarantine right now, which means we can't really do anything at the moment. Um, but I wanted to use this time to clean out and throw away all my clutter and things of that nature. So as I said before, um, I literally reached my breaking point. Um, this is the first time in years since I've ever broke down and felt the need to reach out to my close friends and family. I just reached out to a bunch of friends on my IM messenger chat. Um, I'm pretty much overwhelmed at this point. Um, I don't even know where to even begin to describe how I'm really feeling right now. Other than the fact that I'm just overwhelmed, like I said before, this is the first time in years since I've ever had to face anything like this, incomparable to the Spanish flu or the influenza back in 1918. This is my very first pandemic that I've ever had to face and I'm just really overwhelmed right now. I can't wait until they find something to be able to put this situation on hold. I'm just pretty much leaving it in the Father's hands right now. Um, I try to practice faith but it just got to that point. Like. There's only but so much that I can go through, but after a while, it's like my faith gets really tested. I don't even know how much more I can take this. Honestly, at this point, I'm really doing all that I can to uh, stay strong before I really lose it. Um, you, you can't really tell it because for those of you that have known me from the, for an extended period of time, you know I'm not a very volatile person. Um, I'm very kind-spirited. Um, at least I try to push for that. Um, I'm not a very volatile person. I don't believe in violence. Um, but it just, it really got to that point where I just completely lost it. 
Um, I'm on my couch right now. Um, I'm still very buzzed. Um, I just took a nap. Um, in a few minutes, I'm about to uh, serve myself something to eat from the fridge. But I really needed to use this time because today is just not one of those days. But um, one of the things that I will share, though, um, and because I most of you I mentioned before, uh, most of you that know me, I I go to church. I go to church, and I will reference something that I do remember. Um, I can't tell you the entirety of the scripture, but um, it does go along the lines of not worrying too much. Um, I'll reference it. It's it comes from Matthew uh, chapter six, verses twenty-five to thirty-four. So when in doubt, I always do my best to reference from that scripture and to reread that scripture over and over to try to get it ingrained in my in my spirit and in my mind to get me to a point where I don't worry so much about the times and the period that I'm living in right now because there's so many things going on out in the world right now with the things that you're seeing on the media there are some parts of the world um, there are protests there have been reported to be protests people that are protesting against stay-at-home orders and things of that nature. I understand the need for everything to go back to the way that it was, but I need folks to understand that this is a worldwide pandemic and this is not going anywhere no time soon. So we really just have to do our best to really bite our tongue through this and just follow the CDC, follow the governor, follow what the people are talking on the news, just stay home. Do what you have to do to stay healthy. Stay sane. Stay sane throughout all of this. That everything will be put to pass. Don't go outside. Don't act out of character. Just do what you have to do to stay sane until this thing passes. Just hold on to the hope. At least that's what I'm trying to do right now. Hold everything together. Hold your sanity. Just do everything that you can right now because in the world that's desperate right now, we need to hold on to everything that's positive right now. Try to hold on to positivity right now in this desperate need of time. So as I said before, this is my very first time in my near 31 years of my life that I've ever been in this position right here, to, in a vulnerable position. As you can see, again, I'm on my couch right now. I'm just really trying to process everything right now. I'm um, trying to keep myself together. Um, I'm holding on to the hope that everything will pass, um, but it literally takes time. Um, I'm really doing my best to keep myself together. Um, I'll conclude this video for the moment, and just please be on a lookout in the next couple of days, uh, this next couple of weeks, um, that I'll make more videos pretty soon. I'm finishing up my clutter right now cleaning up all the stuff that's in my closet. Um, I feel drained, but everything that's being cleaned out um, is totally worth it. It's totally going to be worth it in the end. I will say that, and I will point this out. Um, all the things and all these struggles that we're dealing with right now are totally all worth it. We just have to stay through all of this, stay in this fight long enough that all of this will be put to pass.